We are here at the booth of G Floor, and with us is Bill. Hey, Bill. How are you? I'm it's doing great. great. How are you doing? Nice to see uh, you too. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, actually, yes. Uh, last time we saw you guys, it was at uh, in Las Vegas at the Sign Expo yeah, show. About six months ago, I believe it was. Yeah. What can you tell us about this last six months? How's the summer been for you guys? Well, luckily enough for us, this is a, a very untapped market, so we've had a great vision of growth this year. We've We've done great. We had a good steady summer. We've been able to refine our process, our products a little bit more. We have some no, new exciting things like a gloss top coat that can be added from the factory before the material ships out. It's a great stain protector, adds a very long life. What we've also done is we've got a new product coming out that's going to be for offset, sheet fed UV offset, which we believe is really going to change the look of countertops and some of the laminated processes that are coming out. So that's we're really expecting that to almost double our business. Now, uh, in the States and in Europe, we've had a big insurgency with the retail market, the retail flooring. A lot of people promote this as a POP product, but really it's becoming a branded store product. In other words, it's the ability for a, a retailer to, to have the, the aesthetic look they want, but yet they can put their soft branding or their logoing in the floors. So, and because it's truly a flooring material and it is a, a five, six, seven, ten year product, um, they get great value for their money. So as this started as a POP product, it's really become and really beginning to shift into a full flooring product. Now where this is good for the industry is this is untapped. There's an incredible amount of business. Commercial flooring in the United States is about a hundred billion dollar industry a year. Now one percent of that's a hundred million. That's a lot of flooring, that's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of opportunity for a lot of people that have the grand format equipment. If they could get to that next level or looking at it differently rather than a POP product, um, they can really bring a new resource and a whole new customer base without pricing pressures. That is amazing. So it's basically you are creating like a new market, Absolutely. new alternatives for printers to go into. That's really mm -hmm. exciting. Absolutely. How about Latin America? How has been the market down in the region for you guys this 2013? Well, this year in 2013, we've just about tripled our imports, or exports, I'm sorry, into Latin America. Uh, again, a lot of it gets to be, you know, partially our responsibility to do a good job of training and getting the message out and the talk track to sell the product. So as we're moving into 2014 this next year, we're going to have a good resource, a good line, um, a good support system for Latin America. And I think that the availability of the product already in some of the regions and some of the countries is going to make a huge difference. In other words, you can buy the material and you'll have it within a few days versus having to import or you know, deal with a, a longer shipping process. So we know that's going to make a huge difference. It's proven that in the States and in Europe and in Canada. Local or regional distribution makes all the difference. I would appreciate if you can send us a brief greeting to our audience of Noticias Gran Formato in Latin America. Hey everybody, wish you were here. Take a look at our website, gfloorgraphics.com, and uh, wish you were here. Thanks.